Good morning. You know, things just got a little bit brighter here at the Tybee Island Light Station. You can see the beautiful lighthouse behind me. It has a long history and folks are putting the finishing touches on some necessary repairs. Let's take a look back at how it all began. The Tybee Island Light Station has been guiding ships into the Savannah River for over 285 years. But yeah, they would have been the tall sailing ships that you envision from the, the, the 18th and, and 19th centuries. They would have been carrying people. They would have been carrying um, supplies. They would have been carrying things, um, anything that would have come into this, this colony to help support it. The first structure built in 1736 was called a day mark because it didn't have a light. At 90 feet tall, the wooden tower was the tallest of its kind in America. It was destroyed by storms and replaced in 1742. However, the ocean was soon encroaching on the foundation, so in 1771, a new lighthouse was built farther from the sea and lit with candles for the very first time. So when they finally did light it, it must have been something pretty amazing, but it was lit with candles. So you have to, you have to think about that and how different that light would have looked at the top with a wavering candle versus the steady light of electricity. During the Civil War, Confederate troops set fire to the tower so the Union Army couldn't use it to navigate their ships. Because it was a brick building, they did burn the stairs, but they didn't actually burn the building itself all the way down to the ground. For the Union soldiers, it was probably much more important than for the Confederate because the Union soldiers would have used it to spy on what was going on at Pulaski. When the war was over, the government refortified the damaged light station. Now it's fireproof with 178 steps and a first order Fresnel lens. The repair of the stucco and the painting is the third phase which we're in now and since we've received that wonderful grant from Georgia Power we're able to use it to help with that. The iconic light station is the unofficial symbol of Tybee that islanders and visitors admire to this day. Well, parts of the light station are 250 years old, and since November, crews have been reinforcing the curtain wall, removing glass, repairing some cast iron, and replacing copper seams in the roof. The $1.8 million project is nearing completion, and they are now just putting the finishing touches on the stucco work and then the painting. They anticipate having the entire project done at the end of this month. So visitors can come and see it for themselves every day except for Tuesday from 9 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. Live on time. I'm Alexis King on your side.